The question is, is it good if every, if every company has the full range of machinery? The gateway to the future, it is more that we have to uh, do corporations in the, in the printing industry. The customer has to be in the center of all our efforts. The money is in the center of all thoughts and of all uh, efforts. And of course we have to earn money, that's right, uh, but it's not the only thing in life. Leserlein ist eine Online-Druckerei in Berlin, die größte hier in Berlin und auch in Brandenburg. Mein Name ist Julia Bär, ich arbeite hier im Marketing, sorge für das Aussehen von Leserlein nach außen, für die Werbung, fürs Image. Hier ist quasi der Hauptsitz von Leserlein. Wir haben noch eine Produktionsstätte in Reinickendorf und eine Niederlassung in Bremen. Mein Name ist Christian Luther und ich bin der Commercial Director von Leserlein. So I'm responsible for human resources, for finance, um, for the maintenance of the buildings and for everything that's so. Herzlich willkommen. Hier ist unser Empfang. Und wir gehen dann weiter zum Support Center. I think we have the widest range of products of all companies who are dealing Online, online with print products in uh, Germany. Maybe uh, in Europe, I don't know. Uh. Das ist unser Showroom. We have about 20 or 25 million different choices the customer has uh, when he is in our online store. We have to have a unique selling proposition for our customers. One of them is the, the good service we are offering to our customers um, because this is not quite usual in the Online marketing companies, they have usually they have cheap prices but a low level of service. We have a very, very wide range of products and this is what we try to uh, give as a benefit to our customers. He has um, many products where he has not to, to uh, look for different companies to produce them. Uh, he will find them uh, in Laserline. Willkommen uh, im Digitaldruck. We have three locations, one in Bremen and two here in Berlin. This one here is the biggest and we have the offset production in another site and the company was founded in 1997. The history is 10 years longer because we were founded in 1987 as an advertisement agency and a pre-press agency and after 10 years uh, when we have been customers to the, to the printing industry uh, we decided to um, cut off this part of the business because um, most of the people who are customers here are dealing with these products to make graphic design or, or to make advertisement. And they are our customers now, so we are just delivering the goods to them. Uh, we decided uh, to buy our first printing machine and uh, since 1997 we are printers. Uh, and we would develop very good in the last 15 years and um, uh, we are now one of the biggest printers here in Berlin and in Germany. Ja, wir sind aktuell so 220 Mitarbeiter. I think this is what every print company does is to put ink on paper. So this is not a wonder and it's a very old technology, uh, you know, from Gutenberg's time in the, in the, in the 
uh, middle, middle ages. What, what we are differentiating is not only the quality. Uh, the quality uh, is um, especially in the service which we can give the customer to make his product not only a product, to make it a project for us. Wir hatten einen Kunden, der hat äh, nicht nur eine Frage gehabt, sondern der hat Sand aus Australien mitgebracht, diesen, diesen typischen roten Sand. Und der wollte dann ein Druckprodukt haben, es kann sein, dass es eine Broschüre war, wo er dann genau diese Farbe von dem Sand gedruckt haben wollte. Every customer is dealt with in a, in a different way, because we are making telephone calls to him, we are giving him advices how to deal with the print data and uh, of course we are, we are offering a lot of uh, services. Ich weiß ehrlich gesagt gar nicht, was daraus geworden ist, ähm, aber man kann natürlich dann mit, mit Farbfächern oder ähnlichem kann man natürlich äh, probieren, irgendwie an diese Farbe dann sich anzunähern und dann eine Sonderfarbe in dem Farbton rauszusuchen. Also sowas versuchen wir auch zu erfüllen. Ich bin schon seit, seit einigen Jahren bei Laserline. Ich war schon in, in verschiedenen Abteilungen. Jetzt momentan bin ich im, in der Kundenbetreuung und Kundenberatung, im Support-Team. Bei uns läuft der gesamte Kundenkontakt ein, sei es telefonisch oder per E-Mail oder auch direkt vor Ort, dass wir dann die Leute beraten. Alles, was von den Kunden kommt, landet also zuerst bei uns im Team. Trotzdem bieten wir den direkten Service und den direkten Kontakt mit dem Kunden an, weil wir merken, das ist von den Kunden auch gewünscht, das kommt gut an. Und ehrlich gesagt ist es auch das, was die Arbeit eigentlich erst richtig, richtig gut macht. Also das macht wirklich Spaß. Wenn wir jetzt nur die Online-Aufträge hätten, das wäre, glaube ich, auf Dauer ganz schön langweilig. Und ähm, so können wir wirklich auch vor Ort die Kunden beraten. Die Kunden können die, die Papiere anfassen, die können, können die Produkte anfassen, können sich Bücher angucken oder auch nur eine kleine Visitenkarte. Der direkte Austausch mit dem Kunden, der ist immer wieder wichtig, merken wir. Und auch für den Kunden. Es ist das richtig wichtig und es wird richtig gut angenommen. Also ob das Gold ist oder irgendeine Pantone-Farbe, das können wir machen. Das können wir also auch beim bestehenden Auftrag dann einfach nachträglich ändern, wenn man rechtzeitig miteinander redet. Das ist eher der Punkt, dass wir den Auftrag vielleicht sogar schon schneller fertig haben. Das kann auch manchmal passieren. Ähm, dann können wir das nicht mehr machen, aber wenn wir rechtzeitig miteinander reden, dann können wir das nachträglich alles ändern. Oder auch zum Beispiel eine Frage, wie könnt ihr 1000 statt 500 Visitenkarten drucken? Das ist gar kein Problem, das ändern wir dann. Im gesamten Team sind, sind alle Kollegen ausgebildete Mediengestalter. Das brauchen wir auch, weil wir einfach die ganzen Fragen von den Kunden beantworten müssen, nicht nur zum Beispiel, wann ist mein Auftrag fertig, sondern auch, wie muss ich meine Dateien anlegen und äh, wo habe ich vielleicht noch Fehler. Da kommen dann so einfache Fragen wie, was ist denn der Beschnitt ähm, oder wie bette ich eine Schrift ein. Und dann sind aber auch schwierige Fragen wie Überdruckeneinstellungen, was mache ich mit Sonderfarben, könnt ihr auch Gold drucken oder könnt ihr, könnt ihr was für mich stanzen und all sowas. Und das müssen wir halt alles beantworten können. We are, we are offering a lot of uh, services like our uh, loyalty program. This is one part, um, but also some uh, other things like uh, our ecological commitment, which is, um, uh, which is not in the same way given as in the very, very big companies like Fly Alarm or, or Simpress or the other ones who are um, all the time on the market like we are, but there are different ways of, of marketing. Äh, Print and More ist unser Bonusprogramm für unsere Kunden. Äh, jeder Kunde kann mit seinem Druckauftrag Punkte sammeln und diese dann äh, in Prämien eintauschen. Das können Apple-Produkte sein, das können Gutscheine sein, aber es können auch ähm, Druckgutscheine für den nächsten Auftrag sein. Es ist ein äh, Kundenbindungsprogramm, äh, damit binden wir die Kunden natürlich an Leserlein. Im Vergleich ähm, zu anderen Online-Druckereien gibt es äh, das noch nicht in der Form. Wir haben äh, Printmore 2002 eingeführt, in Anlehnung an äh, Vorbilder wie große Konzerne, Fluggesellschaften, wo man Meilen sammeln kann. Wenn ich immer wieder Visitenkarten bestelle, irgendwann kann ich mir vielleicht... Äh, ein iPhone mit meinen Punkten kaufen. Um, 
When we founded the, the online shop in maybe 2002 or 2003, we were one of the very first ones in Germany to do so. And Fly Alarm was maybe at the same time, also 2002 and 2003. And this time, nobody uh, even knew that this e-commerce print would develop in such a strong way, not only in Germany, or in all the European markets, in the US and everywhere. Um, and of course, it is clear that if, if you have more than one child, for example, uh, every child will go his very own way uh, in his life. And this is the same with the printing companies who to try to, to get a new kind of business in this time. Uh. We are a hybrid solution of classical uh, printers and online printers. Um, we prefer today um, the expression to be an uh, e-commerce print company. This is uh, the modern expression to this because it all started with um, web to print, but this is not our business because web to print means you have um, uh, templates for different printing products and the customers, usually small companies, uh, home offices, they can uh, go into their web browser and they can produce from web to the, to the company uh, the products they want. Uh, but today um, it is all in an online store. It's just, it's a lot, of, a lot more than only a web to print. Um, uh, E-commerce print means to have a, a whole model of making business uh, with online solutions. And though we are a classical print company as well, so if, 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 if a customer walks in here, he can ask us for any product and we will make the product for him. We will make him an offer and he can uh, ask for the product, but usually about 80 or 85 percent of all our orders are made by uh, the online store. We have one special focus on Berlin and the region of Berlin. And uh, there we are working as a classical a print company. Um, so a lot of customers here um, are bound to us, not by the online media, but also by, by personal contacts, by a lot of networking we are doing. We are a sponsor of a lot of sports events. And so you have a lot of customers in this region uh, which does not depend on the online store um, uh, in a whole. But uh, the, the people we are, we are working with in Germany, and our focus is national, not international, like some other of the, of the big companies, we are focused on Germany as a national market. Uh, this is, of course, a business uh, which is uh, only given by the online, by the online store. When you look into an into uh, online shop, you will see the prices are uh, competitive, but they are not the lowest in the market. There are some, maybe five, six, seven maybe in Germany, big uh, printing factories and they are working uh, with a very high revenue. Um, this is not our market. They are um, differentiating in the prices uh, only. Uh, th their products are um, uh, very similar and uh, the prices are very, very low and they try to drive the prices even lower in the future. And this is... Um, a part of competition we are not in because um, we offer a lot of products and um, it's right that uh, this means uh, our production is um, a bit more expensive than the big companies who have very clear production lines. They are making a very small number of products, uh, a very easy kind of production and um, I wouldn't say the quality is low but we try harder to give the customer a better quality because we are working individually with the product and individually with the customer and to, to reach his demands in service and in product quality. And this is not what the big, big factories want to do and it's not what they do because uh, we are just now in a market where some of our competitors are 10 times or 50 times as big as we are in the number of revenue and um, this is not our field of competition. Now.
uh, we wouldn't stand here uh, if it wouldn't be working. Yes, that's uh, the first question to it. But you have to see, um, you know, the, the, the printing industry, um, especially in Germany, is in a, uh, in a, in a long-lasting and a big change. Uh, because when I started here 15 years ago, we had about 15,000 print companies in, in Germany. Most of them small one, about 15 employees or 20 maybe. Uh, family uh, businesses, and now we have about eight or 9,000 in Germany. But only maybe 1,500 or 2,000 of them are um, uh, selling their products via online shops. So um, this business model, um, uh, what I was referring to, e-commerce e print, uh, is not in the majority of the, of the companies, but only in a small number. And in this small number, there are two different markets. It's the big the big market of uh, the printing factories, uh, names everyone knows, like like um, uh, like uh, Fly Alarm, for example. Um, uh, and these companies are playing in another another game and another field, and it's not what what we do. And so our customers are very loyal, and uh, they are demanding for a high level of service. And of course, we can offer this to them because we are organized in a different way. Dann kommen auch oft Fragen, ob man was ändern kann oder ob man zum Beispiel die Daten noch mal austauschen kann, wenn der Kunde vielleicht in seiner Datei einen Fehler gefunden hat. Ähm, wenn das noch nicht irgendwie in der Produktion ist und noch nicht irgendwie plattenbelichtet sind oder an der Maschine ist, dann holen wir den Auftrag auch noch mal zurück und können die Daten noch mal austauschen. Wenn das Ganze natürlich schon an der Druckmaschine ist, da können wir dann auch leider nichts machen. Aber solange es irgendwie geht, probieren wir das natürlich. Das kommt oft vor. Also die Frage, die am, am häufigsten wahrscheinlich von unseren Kunden gestellt wird, ist die Frage nach der Lieferung. Wann wird mein Auftrag fertig? Wann kann ich ihn abholen? Wann wird er zugestellt? Die Kunden können das zwar alles auch im Onlineshop bei der Bestellung sehen oder in der Auftragsbestätigung. Trotzdem rufen sie einfach oft an, weil sie es überlesen, warum auch immer. Und dann erreichen sie uns natürlich und das können wir ihnen ganz schnell am Telefon also beantworten. Ja, yeah, I think this very hard price competition in the market will, I'm afraid, it will shrink the number of companies in the future even more than we have seen this in the, in the past. Uh, and, and this is not only for the, for the very, very small companies, because the printing industry is, a com is an industry with um, 80% or so of the companies are very, very small. There are only few big players. But even the very few big players uh, are in such a hard price competition that I'm afraid not all of them will have the chance to do so in the next 10 or 15 or 20 years. So there will be a shrinking number of, uh, of competitors to us. So we have to look for our niche. It is not where we cannot differentiate by our... Uh, for, for being very big. It is a company like uh, Fly Alarm who makes uh, uh, about 250 or 300 million euros revenue uh, each year. It's not the same what we do. So we have to find our niche and I think this is where we have to be successful. We have a very big investment, we had a very big investment in 2012, where we um, founded the new production site here in Berlin, apart from this site where we are here just now. And uh, investment in offset press or in digital press uh, will not be before maybe 2017 or 18, uh, because we have very, very new machines in a, with very high quality, so there is no need uh, to do it now, but of course, Uh, we have to ask questions about what will the future be, but the future, in my opinion, and of course this might be different from uh, the opinion of, uh, um, uh, of Mr. Buches, who's the owner here of the company, or maybe um, of my colleague who is the production, chief of production, uh, head of production. Um, this might be different, but I think it's not the investment in machinery which is uh, Uh, the gateway to the future. It is more that we have to uh, do corporations in the, in the printing industry, to find other companies to make corporations, to see, because we have a lot of machines in the market. I, I think the, uh, there are so many systems in the market, 
And of course, the, the big uh, players in the, in the field of machine construction uh, uh, industry like Heidelberg or KBA or the other ones and Kodak or in, in digital print, of course, they want to sell more machines. This is, this is quite usual. It's, it's their business. Uh, but the question is, is it good if every, if every company has the full range of machinery? This is, in, in, in my opinion, not a very good solution because you, you, you can, of course, build some more houses and build some more uh, stores and you can put machines inside, but uh, I think this is the solution to the competition problems in the printing industry. It's to make solution for the customer. And machines is just a piece of, yes, heavy metal and uh, that's it. There would be one advice, but this is very old school, of course, but maybe it's a bit forgotten now in, in our times. Uh, it's, of course, the, and really it, it, sounds, it sounds a bit crazy when I, when I say so, but the customer has to be in the center of all our efforts. And uh, in, many, in many talks I have in the industry, I, uh, I usually found that the money is in the center of all thoughts and of all... Uh, efforts and of course we have to earn money that's right uh, but it's not the only thing in life uh, and the customer is much more important uh, for us than, than to have a short range of money and maybe in two years you are thrown away from the market you don't know uh, and I think this this uh, uh, this way of thinking in the last decade um, is a bit sick in my opinion uh, yeah.